Hello everyone, Fox here, and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem. Last time we, uh, met some really nasty bandits. One of them named Glass, who was trying to steal the sacred sword, Manakati. But we stopped him, and prayed to the sword, and found out that it was ours, that it had been longing for us. Now we continue our travels with sword in hand. The Manakati is very powerful. We shall soon see its true nature. But first, we continue on in our story. The secrets of her past revealed in the words of two knights of Lysiel. Now to meet her grandfather, Lenheads West. To Lysiel and to her destiny. A mountain range separates the Scant's Plains from Burn. There are many bandits lurking here, the cruelest of which are the Tavalier. They wreak havoc on both Scant and Burn, and their savagery knows no bounds. On her tenth day away from the plains, Lynn witnesses their atrocities herself. Looks like we're gonna meet someone else as well, but first, we will all witness this in Chapter 3, Band of Merchants. Or Mercenaries, Band of Mercenaries. My bad, I can't read. Anyway. This place, it's... The entire area... The entire area is in ruins. Why doesn't the Mount Quest do anything to help? Tavaliri... Tavaliri Mountain... Uh, Tavaliri Mountain is home to a gang of vicious and ruthless bandits. No more quest holds power here. My village was near here, on the other side of the mountain. My people were... The Tavaliri bandits came at night. It took only one night. The survivors numbered less than ten, including me. The soulless beasts. I will never forgive them. Never. M Lindis? Mm. I am not running away. I will be back someday. I'll be back. I'll be stronger. I will break the swords beneath me like twigs beneath the stallion's hooves. I will avenge my people. I'll do everything in my power. When the time comes, bring me with you. Sane? Don't forget me either. Kent. Oh. You too, Fox? I... You're... Uh, thank you. Wait right there, little lady. What are you going to do? What are you going to do to apologize, huh? Uh, I... That is, I... Hey, she's quite a catch, eh, buddy? I bet the boss would give us a pretty penny for her. <laughs> yeah, she roughed me up a bit. So I figure it's fair as fair. It's no more than she deserves. I... I... What are we going to do with the flying mule? Don't you dare touch her! What? You just watch your mouth, girly. Do what me... There. Yeah. Do what you will with me. Just... Let her go, please. I beg of you. Ha ha ha. Silly twit. Pegasi can only be found in Ilya. The rare beasts worth more than you by far. We can sell it for a mountain. We can sell it for a mountain of gold. Let it go. Ha! <laughs> no, you can't. Come on, let's move. What's this? Be on your guard, Lindis. There seems to be some sort of commotion over there. That's... That's a Pegasus. Could it be? Florina? Is that you, Florina? <sighs> oh, excuse me. Ah, Linda! Lynn! Florina? What are you doing in a place such as this? Lynn! Is... Is it really you? I... I... Come now, no crying. I'm sorry. Your acquaintances? 
She's my friend. This is Florina, a Pegasus Knight in training from Ilia. She's a little uncomfortable around men. Tell me, Florina, what happened here? Well, um, when I heard that you had left, I decided to follow you. Then I saw this village. I flew down to ask if they had any news of you. I didn't see these two, and well... Did your Pegasus land on them? Well, I... Mm, a little. Aha! You heard her. She admits her fault. She stepped on my friend, and now she's got to pay. Did you, apo did you apologize, Florina? Yes. I told them I was sorry many times over. They just wouldn't listen. Don't cry. It's alright. Then... Listen, she's obviously sorry. Can't we just let this pass? We don't appear to be injured or anything. No chance. The girl goes with us. By force if need be. Hey, come on out, boys. The men are a fair game, but don't put a scratch on the girls. That's a lot of troops out of nowhere. Fox, we've got to do it. We've got to fight back. Lynn, I... You're a Pegasus Knight, aren't you? You can fight... You can fight, can't you? Yes. Listen carefully, Fox. We're facing bandits. They're underlings, but we can't take them too lightly. Let's clear them out of here. Are you ready? The layout around here might make it difficult to fight. The same holds for our foe, too. If we use these walls just so, they may ensure our victories. L Lin! Yeah. Lin! Who's that? This is Fox. He's still an apprentice, but he's my tactician. Oh, I see. Uh, Fox, I am pleased to meet you. Red Roof's house of villages. Villages are in danger of being attacked. If an enemy reaches it before our uh, audience does, it will be destroyed. Visit as quickly as possible to give the residents warning. Only good can come of Seth. So, we're gonna have Lindus uh, visit the village. Is anyone there? Leave us alone, you thugs. Go away, go away. We've no more gold for you. No, wait, please. We are not bandits. We want to help the village. Please listen. Remain inside, everyone. I'll go see what's happening. Not bandits, huh? So are you. My name is Lynn. My colleagues and I are just traveling through here. We saw some bandits about. We're going to deal with them, but... We need you to go and warn the villagers. Now hey, wait. The name's Will. I'm a traveler of sorts, too. Listen, these villagers have been kind to me. M mind if I fight with you? Not at all. We need all the help that we can get. Welcome aboard, Will. So now we have an archer who can ha who has range attacks but cannot attack anyone that is near him. So, for example, he can shoot this guy over a wall. And he does 9 damage. So Will is awesome. Because archers are great in this get in Fire Emblem games. Um, now it's explaining Florina. Uh, who basically a Pegasus Knight. Can fly over anything with no penalties. Unless it's something in the air. Which I don't think is in this game. I, I am ready to fight. I'll follow your orders. So basically, the way that this works is you can just doop doop, and she has a lance, so she's super effective. Now the one problem about Pegasus Knight, well there's two problems about Pegasus Knight. One is that they have low defense, so they tend to take a lot of damage when they're hit. But also, archers 
do increased damage to Pegasus Knights. Do not, I repeat, do not let an archer hit a Pegasus Knight. They will almost always die from that. So now we know all the ins and outs. Let's have Kent attack this guy with his sword, which he'll attack twice, which is great. And the archer cannot fight back because it's... Archers can't fight one space away, they have to fight two spaces away. Um, you can also check, I never, I haven't done this yet, but you can check how far an enemy can go, and because that, that tr uh, tree tile is there, they can't actually get to us, so. Oh right, and also, while attacking with a certain weapon, you are leveling up the character's uh, skill with that weapon. So in other words, like, they get, they can equip stronger weapons. And he missed further one damage that he was going to do. So there, yeah, now it's introducing a whole lot of complexities in this game. Lin, what should I do? There's an archer. What? Where? No, that that's Will. Nah, you're one of Linda's, Lin's friends, right? Um, what? What is it? Are you unwell? Nah, I'm sorry, Will. Her name is Florina. She's timid around men. And you're... And you... You've got a bow. Oh, I see. You must be a Pegasus Knight. I apologize for frightening you. But you do understand your fear of... I do understand your fear of bows. I, um... I'm sorry. Even looking at a bow... Frightens me ever so much. And of course, I understand. But you should really only fear the enemy's archers, not your own. Yes, of course. So yeah, they're vener this is telling you it's very vulnerable to bows. They deal critical damage to them. If an enemy has a bow, you must be extremely cautious. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole spiel that I was just going through. Let's go visit this town with uh, Florina. You came to help... <clears throat> You came to help fill the village? That's good. With so many bandits, I wasn't sure what to do. There's not much, but please take this money. There's an armory to the southeast of us. Equip yourselves as you see fit, and help us, please. So we got 2,000 gold. Weapons have strengths, and uh, this is talking about how weapons have a durability. And if they break, you can no longer use that weapon. Uh, and I'm gonna stay far away. Just because I don't want any of those guys to come up to her. And this is the armory, so we can buy items here. Uh, in future installments of Fire Emblem, you can just buy... You, you have more versatility with your purchasing, I believe. But I've only played one Fire Emblem game, so... Before this one. So... Um... 7, 14. Wait, can I get Will over here? No. Damn. It's basically up to Sane and, uh... Kent to get through all this. Oh, damn, that does a lot of damage, but it has very low accuracy. And I don't want to... If it does kill him, I don't want to be vulnerable to the axe wielder, so... I'll just take my two chances with this. Nice! Sane is awesome for dealing damage, but he is less defensive than Kent. So that's why I wanted him to go first, and now I can attack with him. And see how he only takes three damage if he gets hit. I think Sane probably would have taken six. He takes about double. I can actually look at their defense. But also, Kent leveled up. And he got some HP, skill, and speed. That's pretty good. So... He has um, a defense of six. He has a defense of six, huh? So he should take the same damage now that I read that, but I don't know. And let's move everyone up. Now I can't go this way because this is a peak, and I don't believe uh, Lindes can cross peaks. They require too much movement. Or they require a flying creature. I'm pretty sure no one can cross that other than Pegasus Knights.
All right, so we're getting a little bit dangerous up here. Does Florina have a... She does have a Volinary, so I'm not too worried. Oh yeah, her weapon is also the Slim Lance, which has high critical chance. Which is also something interesting about the Monarch. Ooh. Can I... How do I... I'm very confused. I don't know how I... Hold on. I know you're supposed to be able to, like, look at different weapons, but I can't look at the Monokati right now. But, basically, the Monokati is much more powerful, much more accurate, and has a very, very high crit chance. I'm just gonna shoot this guy with Will, because he's just there. Okay, so... 64% chance to do 4 damage, that shouldn't do be too bad. But the problem is that this won't kill him, so that means he'll have a chance to retaliate and then the Axe Wielder will be able to attack. And the Axe Wielder will do some damage, I'm pretty sure. Let's find out. Yeah, he can do 8 damage with a 67% chance. So let's say that's... 8 plus it's at 16, so technically she can survive with 1 HP. And with that being said, okay, he can't get over there in time. So, it'd be even better if she got a crit, but I doubt that'll happen. It'd be also really good if she dodged, but she didn't. Okay, so this is going to play out like I expected it to. She's going to be down to 1 HP at the end of that fight. Which is unfortunate, but a necessity. Yeah, he has to kill uh, this guy. Iron Lance. Whoops, I didn't mean to go through with that, but uh, that's fine. Worked out in the end. Uh, shite? Huh. Where can Lynn- Okay, Lynn can go where Sane is. I'm trying to, like, get into a better position. Oh, you can't stand on those. Those are walls. Okay. I'll go down here, then. Equip the Iron Lance, just in case that sword wielder comes for him. And I'll put Lynn here. Alright, Florina should be fine in theory, but if I calculated even the slightest thing wrong, I'm in the bone zone. Okay, that that's what I was expecting him to do. I was actually hoping for the sword wielder to go after him, but it makes more sense for that to happen. Okay, so down to 1 HP. Oh, she's doing less, less damage than I expected her to do against him now. But that's fine. I can just have her fly somewhere and heal. Having her fly here. Oh, I can have her fly again. Uh, I'll have her fly right here. She can't be targeted in there. Except for by bows, but all the bowmen are dead. Um, what level's Lin? Three? Three? I'm gonna have Kent back off for a little bit. Uh, he only has two HP. I have to stand there to shoot him, damn it. I want to get experience for the bowman. There we go. Now I need to make sure that the swordsman cannot get to him. Okay. So I'm going to check out the armory with Sane. This is the armory. So I can only buy swords and iron lances here. So I think I'll buy two extra swords and one extra spear. Um, okay, I'll have to have someone else come here for the spear, but that shouldn't be a problem. He has his lance equipped, I'm quite sure. Yep, okay, perfect. Boom. And, okay. And then the, uh, Will can take him out as well.
Nice, nice. Everything's coming... Everything is coming along quite nicely. So that's good. Uh, I'm gonna leave Sane here. Actually, no, I'm gonna make Sane come over here and trade with Kent. Give him one of the extra iron swords. And wait. Have Lynn come there, and I'm gonna have Florina go down there because I want her to have a regular lance. And everyone else should be fine. I might have her buy two lances. Because she has the inventory for it, right? She's only holding one item. Or two items. Bye. Whoops. God dang it. Okay. Lance, lance. Okay. So I spent pretty much all the gold that I was given, but for a good cause. And now I'm gonna have Lynn do some killing again. Yeah, that looks good. 30... Uh, fucking 35% chance to hit, and you do. Fuck you. That's ridiculous, but we gotta level up on Lynn. It's a pretty good level. Like I said, we'll need that resistance in the future. There's nothing to visit there, apparently. Alright, oh, I forgot. Uh, the Cavaliers have the ability to rescue. And then they can drop off that character later. Which is actually very useful. It can save you out of a lot of sticky situations. Um, but then you do have to spend, like, your next turn, uh, to drop that character. Instead of attacking. So I don't know if this guy moves, but it does have a movement range. And if he does move, I want Will behind her. Oh, Will can also rescue. That's interesting. And Florina. Let's see if he moves. He doesn't. That's what I figured. How badly will he hurt Lin if I go and attack? 14 damage! Woo-wee! That is a lot. That's a steel axe. Holy shit. That would be why. Strength of 7. Yeah, that'll do it. How much can Sane deal? He would take 11. But only at a 36% chance, but as I've been clearly been noticing, that that doesn't matter. Um, I'll have him wait here. So now he can't get around, and I'm going to move up the archer. Move everyone forward. And have poor old Florina behind everyone. Draw your swords. We're not listening to any of your stinking apologies. Well, we got the uh, the dodge off, so that's good. How much can the bowman do, though? He can do seven damage exactly. If this hits, he will get a shit ton of experience, and I hope he does. Come on, Will, you can do it. Yeah. <clears throat> You'll live to regret this. My brothers, the Gandlian bandits, will not let this stand. Look at all that experience Will just gained. Very nicely done, Will. God damn it, Will. That's finally taken care of. Lynn. Florina. Why did you follow me? It's so dangerous. Do you remember the... <clears throat> Do you remember the night knighting ceremony of the Pegasus Knights of, of Helia? Yes. You were joined... You join a band of freelance soldiers to further your training. Is that what brought you here, Florina? Uh-huh. I wanted to talk to you before you set out. But when I went to Scans... I heard that you had left with some strangers, and... Mm, you were worried for me. 
thank you, but I'm more worried about you. Me? Listen, most mercenaries are men, right? Bands of men? I can't imagine you being at all comfortable around them. I know, I know. It's just, I've always dreamt of being a Pegasus Knight. I imagined I would just work it out somehow. And after today, I'm not so sure. Maybe I should just give up. Florina, don't cry. Yes, there's no reason to give up your dream. Hmm? Lovely Florina. Lovely Florina. I have the most brilliant idea. Sane! You should come with us. With the addition of Will here, we're a fine group of soldiers. A freelance to boot. And freelance to boot. Wait. Wait. Did you just include me? Of course. We were destined to meet here. It's fate. Come now, Lindus. Lindus's band of mercenaries is as good as as good a training group as you will find anywhere. Sane. Sane. This is no joking matter. L Lindus? Um, Lynn? Mercenary? Mercenaries? I can give you the details later. This is all a bit rushed. However, Sane is right. Will you come with us, Florina? Travel with you, Lynn. Truly? Ah, oh, fuck, I gave her the same voice. I would be so happy. So, I would be so, so happy. Fantastic. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm a knight of Kaelin. Er, <clears throat> getting all the voices mixed around. I've been doing this for too long. I'm a knight of Kaelin. My name is Sane. Eek! S stay back. Don't get so close. Nah, beautiful and yet so modest. I beg your forgiveness, calling us mercenaries. No, I can. I approve. We can't leave Florina on her own. She requires special attention, though. Can I count on you? Yes. You have but to ask. So, is this. Is it really alright if I travel with you? Well, of yes, of course. If you're willing, Will. Actually, I'm very grateful. Truth be told, all of my money had, had was stolen, and I'm a uh, bit of a crossroads. I'd be honored to count myself one of Lindus's legion. <laughs> That's adorable. Lindus's legion. This is getting stranger with every day, Fox. And that's the end of chapter four, or chapter three. I hope to see you all next time for the next chapter. Where we'll see where our little band of mercenaries, as it is so called, will lead us. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.